All right, it's day 35, and the boys, six boys from Igbonla College that were kidnapped have not been found, and a lot and lot and lot of questions still are in the minds of parents, in the minds of Nigerians, professionals, teachers, friends, family friends, mm. even church members. Indeed. have been praying, and, uh, and so on. It's mm. really uh, touching. Uh, joining us in the studio is the immediate past chairman, of the Senior Staff Association of Nigerian University Chairman, uh, University of Lagos Chairman, yeah, uh, Olushegun Odunso. It's good to have you join us right good now. Morning. Thank you for coming. Welcome. Good morning. Now, I, I know you've been following this development, <clears throat> excuse me, all the while. Tell us from your perspective how disturbing this is for you when you read on the papers and then we keep on asking when will this boy's return found. home? Um, thank you very much. To say it's disturbing, I will say it's an understatement. Because if any one of these people in government should have any of their children among those uh, children kidnapped, uh, I know a lot of efforts will have been put into it and uh, something will have been done by now. So I, if there's another word better than... Uh, the one I just used, I think I should bring in that because I don't see enough effort yet into finding those children. This is how we started with the Shibok's girl, little by little, counting days until when it gets to two, three years. So uh, I think government should put in more efforts. Well, judging from reports uh, we got yesterday, it seems uh, the police uh, and, of course, the government are trying to get the boys back because uh, a media organization, a print medium, uh, said that uh, the kidnappers are threatening to relocate the boys again if the police do not step back, that they were close to getting to the creeks where the boys uh, allegedly kept uh, in Ondo Creeks. Uh, are you saying they should redouble efforts now or uh, they should just find the boys? Because it seems they are working according to that report? Uh, yes, ma um, I think uh, the criminals cannot be dictating to government. There, there's, no matter how powerful those uh, uh, kidnappers are, they cannot be more powerful than the government. So telling government to step back or doing this is when government is not ready to do uh, what is expected of them. What is all this our helicopters doing? The one acquired by Lagos State, the one by the federal government, the neighbor officers are there, I can't just imagine how the parents of those children will be feeling by now, counting 35 days. All right, but, but what is the missing link here? Is it because the point is, we, when you talk to security analysts, they, there's the issue of we cannot divulge all the information. Sensitive. Whatever they are doing, we cannot tell the public. We, they can't even tell the parents everything that is going on. So if that information is not in the domain of the public, does it necessarily translate to the fact that the government is not working? My brother, we don't, they don't have to divulge their information before we know they are working. Okay. Let us see the efforts, the, the result of their efforts in finding these uh, uh, children. It's not until they come and tell us uh, we want to take three steps, we want to go five steps, uh, we, that we know they are working. But we see the result, then we know they are working. But the result of their efforts in the past, uh, somehow, according to some analysts, to jeopardize the, the quick recovery of, of the students, because the, when they arrest, the police arrested some of the suspects, they paraded that it became public knowledge. And according to some people, that was why the kidnappers had to relocate the boys, or the students, or, to the creeks uh, in Undo. Uh, yes, I, I think I have to still maintain that the uh, governments are not ready to, to do their to do what is expected of them yeah because if you trace this thing back to when this uh, kidnapping uh, game started if it has been nipped on the board as at that time it will not be growing like this now today we find ourselves in this we don't know where we are going to find ourselves tomorrow mm. if enough effort is not made now to ensure that all these kidnappers are wiped away from this uh, from this land Okay, well, uh, in your, in, in, where you have unions, there's a, pilot, there's, a, there's a statement you make and say that an injury to one is an injury to all. We know that uh, certainly this is not necessarily uh, under the jurisdiction of the universities and all of that, but 
whatever happens to the school system affects everyone Education somehow. What, what is what is is there any role that uh, your organi your organization, you were former chairman of the of Sanu agencies like that in the NUT, is there anything you are doing to put pressure on government or to assist one way or the other? Um, it's just uh, the way they are telling everybody they are doing this, they are doing that, and you know. People, we have to take a uh, caution before, because ev everything you do in Nigeria, there are some people in one corner that will read meanings to, to what you do. Uh, if any effort is started from our own ends now, uh, they may tell me the, it is the political opponents that are sponsoring them, that are asking them to destabilize the government. So the only thing we can do is to join other people in calling for the quick recovery of these uh, children from the kidnappers for now. All right, so as a parent, how worried and how uh, important do you think this is for security operatives in Nigeria at this time to recover the students and then ensure that the kidnappers are arrested? Because it seems this is a test of the, the capability of the Nigerian security uh, operatives. As quick as possible, like I said, if immediately they kidnap these uh, children, uh, the security people have stepped in, they will not have gone f as far as they are going now. And like I said, that is what happened to the Shiba girls. If the, the, those people, the Boko Haram's have been followed immediately, they will not have gone as far as now releasing those children one by one to the government. So let, uh, let the security agents now move immediately and then ensure that they, they get these children back to their parents so that the, the family can, can be a one happy family again. Okay. All right, uh, Olusheng, let's, let's put you on a hold a little and we'll, we'll come back to this. Nigeria has kicked against moves to privatize the nation's refineries. Top officials of the association rejected the planned privatization during a tour of facilities at the Port Harcourt refinery. The association also wants government to channel its policies towards infrastructure development as it affects the oil and gas industry. Now, the union uh, officials are also concerned with the casualization of workers. Now, 21 suspected cultists have been arraigned before an Akure Magistrate Court for carrying out some deadly attacks in some areas in the state capital. The cultists, who are members of IA and AA confraternities, were arrested by police detectives at different locations in Akure. The trial judge ordered that the suspects be remanded in prison custody. And we have been following on this story from Venezuela that says that the rogue police official behind the helicopter attack on the Supreme Court there yeah, is action film star Oscar Perez. President Nicolas Maduro's government says Perez fired shots and dropped grenades on the Interior Ministry and the Supreme Court after hijacking a helicopter in Caracas. Perez's action comes during a major national crisis where thousands have taken to the streets calling for an end to Maduro's presidency. All right, we've been following our usual discussion on uh, the kidnap of six boys from the model college in Igbon in Ekbe in Lagos. And uh, it's day 35 now and still counting. We hope not to keep counting again. Mm, well, we have joining us the former chairman of the Senior Staff Association of Nigerian Universities, University of Lagos chapter, Olusegun Ogunso. Odunso. Yeah, so he, he is with us. <laughs> Let me not give you a new name this morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, uh, we, a lot of people, a lot of Nigerians are very concerned about what is going on, especially when it comes to kidnap. Now, in the area of equipment acquisition. Lagos State is still number one in the country when it comes to the ability to gather intelligence, equipment for security and all of that. In all of this, has there been justification in deployment and the use of and the accumulation of all of this equipment? Uh, thank you very much. Lagos State acquired a lot of uh, equipment 
But uh, you know the, the laws of this country, the governor of the state, even though they say constitutionally is the chief security officer, mm. cannot just direct the police to do this, to do that. If anything is happen, happening in any state, they will have to take instruction from the inspector general first before they can carry on this. All these things are, are minimizing the efforts of these uh, security people because they will not take instruction from the governor of that state. They will have to go to the uh, uh, inspector general. All these things, uh, the, the governor has a limited uh, effort as to pushing the security officers to work when it comes to uh, performing. So if uh, the states are given the powers now to have their own police, uh, you think crime would be fought better and security agencies would be more effective? Yes, I want to uh, say that if there is state police, the governor can always call on the head of that uh, security outfit that so so thing is happening, go to so so place without re recourseing to any other place to, uh, to take uh, permission. And that will be faster and better for the country. All right, so in this, in this, <clears throat> excuse me, in this case, you, you talked about the fact that the police have their allegiance to the hierarchy all in Abuja, uh, all, all the way to Abuja. In this case, this delay in finding these uh, boys, who should we blame this time? Should it be the state government then, or should it be uh, the, the police or the security agencies? I think all should be blamed, all, including the, uh, the operators or the leaders of that, uh, of that school. Because I think in October, this same uh, kidnappers entered that school, kidnapped about four, four students there, even though that was not as uh, long as this before they released them. But as, as at that time, I think there should have been a uh, security uh, team put in place to prevent such occurrence. Those people are liable in that area. Our government that is using uh, public funds to buy helicopter, buy this, buy that, where we don't see the result of those uh, equipments they bought, it means they are just wasting public funds. Mm -hmm. And the federal government is there in control of the naval. Uh, will they want to say these kidnappers, how many are they, that the naval of this country cannot face them and look for them in any crib they are? We have our local security outfit that we call uh, Odua. They will be boasting, they have this, they have that. For 35 days, they cannot come out to say, let us go and trace these people and get these children back from them. That but is why I said... But, but in that case, if they are not called in, will they, if they are coming in, would they not contradict The one they the have security? been doing, nobody calls them to come and do. Mm. And they should act like, like a parent now. Let them think, if these children are my own children, what will happen? Because a lot of times that they have been coming out, nobody called them to come out. Well, information in public domain uh, says that uh, the military, DSS, and even the police are involved in trying to uh, rescue the students alive and safely first, because that is mm -hmm. very paramount. Very They're vital. saying that if they invade uh, the, the kidnappers' den, they could jeopardize the lives of these children because they are in the creeks. Now, the way you're feeling is exactly the way the parents were feeling and are still feeling when they decided to contribute money, though the police told them not to uh, pay any form of ransom to the kidnappers, uh, we heard they contributed about 10 million naira, gave to the kidnappers for the release of the wards, and they were even told that they were going to be released on Saturday or thereabout. Till now, nothing has happened, and they have even severed all forms of communications with the parents. So is that even the way to go? Now we hear that some parents in the, of the school are contributing money to add up to the one they are demanding for, but is that the way to go? They got 10 million and no words now. You know, as a, as a parent, anything they ask them to do now, they will want to do, just to have their children back, even though that is not the right way to go. But if my child is there, I, I won't want to lose that uh, child to the kidnappers. So whatever they ask, provided I'm in position to do that, I will want to do it. But I want to say it's not the right thing to do, to be encouraging criminals by giving them money before they they release whatever is in their possession. All right. If we have to uh, take this in perspective now, what should have been the ideal situation when it comes to the knowledge we should have as the public or the knowledge the parents should have as to what is going on and what shouldn't they know? What should be the ideals? 
Uh, the ideal thing, like we said at the beginning of this uh, program, uh, it's not easy for the security outfit to be telling the public what they are doing, the steps they are taking. That in itself may even uh, cause more harm, more damage than uh, uh, getting the children out. But the only thing I want to see is that the uh, police, the military, DSS, and all, all of them should double their effort to ensure that these children are released on time and safely too. Mm, no effort is enough until the children are rescued alive. We got you. Thank you mm. for your analysis on the show. Mr. Olushegun Odusan Wo, you're the immediate past chairman of Sanu University of Lagos. Thank, Thank you, you very for coming. Much. Thank, Thank you very much for coming. Thank you.